Hello, um, so this is going to be a demo for configuring a hybrid cluster with Azure Managed Instance for Apache Cassandra. Um, some reasons that you might want to do this. Um, you might have an on-premises Apache Cassandra cluster and you just want to extend capacity uh, for that cluster using the cloud. So uh, you would extend that uh, with this service. This allows you to um, uh, connect uh, data centers provisioned using Managed Instance uh, to your existing cluster. And another reason you might want to use this service is just for a, a real-time, uh, a zero downtime migration. Just use Apache Cassandra's inbuilt replication capability, configure a hybrid cluster, let the replication do its thing, and then you decommission the old uh, on-premises or um, external environment, uh, and then just uh, run, run this service in Azure. Um, so I'm going to be going through these instructions that you can see here and that you can find them online. I'm going to be starting from step four. And the reason for that is because I already have everything uh, configured uh, prior to that. So that's basically, um, of course, I already have um, a self-hosted uh, Cassandra cluster. You can see the nodes provisioned uh, here. Uh, and I've deployed that inside uh, a VNet that I've called hybrid VNet. Um, and I also have another VNet that I intend to deploy um, my managed instance data center into, and I've called that cloud VNet. I've also um, enabled the permissions that, that allow uh, the deployment to happen. Uh, and I've also paired these two VNets together. So all the networking um, requirements that are, are de described and the permissions requirements that are described in steps one to three have already been done. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is create a cluster resource. And by cluster resource, I mean really just a bookmarking resource uh, to allow a data center provisioned in Azure with managed instance to be connected to your existing cluster. So we're not really creating a cluster. We're creating a resource uh, that names or references your existing cluster by name. Uh, so let me go ahead and grab the uh, command that I have here. Uh, it's really just the same command that you see in the instructions uh, lower down here. So let me just um, get a Cloud Shell open here. Let me just paste this in. And you can see here in this command, I've referenced the external seed nodes, that is the seed nodes of my existing um, cluster on premises or wherever that may be. And also uh, the external gossip certificates, that is uh, certificates um, that are used when uh, configuring node to node encryption. So if you already have a uh, a Cassandra cluster. And by the way, um, I deployed my cluster using these instructions. I'll link this uh, in the video if you want to do this all from scratch. Uh, but whether you have an existing cluster or not, you will need to configure a node to node encryption. Um, managed instance for Apache Cassandra requires a node to node encryption. That's why we're asking for uh, gossip certificates. And when you go through that process, uh, you'll end up with uh, something like this. You'll have a root. Uh, CA cert, and then the format of that will be uh, something like this. So this is the file uh, that you're going to be passing in when creating that initial cluster resource. Um, so you can see here, that's what I've done. I've, I've just, in this case, I've just uploaded the file into my cloud drive within my cloud shell here. Um, and that's how I'm running the command. So let me just go ahead and create the cluster resource. Okay, so it looks like my cluster resource is um, deployed. Um, just to be clear, I'm using a bit of YouTube trickery here. Um, so your cluster resource may take a little bit longer, usually about five minutes or so. Um, so what I'm seeing here in the output is, uh, yes, it's recognized that um, the um, uh, certificate that I provided for my existing cluster and the external seed nodes, as they're named here, uh, the seed nodes of my existing uh, cluster, but it's also telling me uh, the gossip certificates that are going to be used when deploying uh, a managed instance uh, data center. So I need to grab these. So let me just grab this array here. Um, and you will notice 
uh, uh, in the format uh, that comes out here that there are some line breaks represented as text here. So you're going to need to format these certificates into files before um, installing them in your trust store. And we do actually have a little tip uh, here, just a, um, a script that you can use for that. Of course, it's up to you exactly uh, how you do that. But I've just got um, that script here. Uh, and I'm just going to paste um, the certificates into this file. Um, and then here's the uh, uh, trust store that I copied from my existing uh, cluster and I want to um, add these certificates to that existing cluster, um, trust store. So let me just go ahead and run that, that script. And you can see that's created uh, uh, these files here. Um, and let me just go ahead and install those uh, using key tool into this uh, trust store. And then one last command to check that they've been installed and everything looks good. So I'm going to eventually uh, upload that to my existing uh, cluster. Uh, but what, what I have not yet done is um, create a data center with managed instance. So uh, I'm now ready to to do that, I've imported the uh, the certificates that are going to be used in that data center into my uh, trust store, but I still need the seed nodes of the new data center um, so that I can add those to my existing um, cluster. So let me go ahead and copy uh, that command for creating a new data center. I'm just going to create a data center with uh, three nodes. And let me just paste this here and before I run this, let me just go to my uh, existing cluster and let's just have a look at the status of that. And you can see that data center also has uh, three nodes. This is my existing data center, um, and I'm going to deploy a new data center. And this should be, or it should have connectivity um, uh, to my existing data center via the peering of the two VNets that I mentioned earlier. So let me just run this command to create a, a new data center with managed instance. Okay, so it looks like my data center has deployed uh, here again. Um, I've used a bit of YouTube trickery here, so it may take your data center maybe 10 or 15 minutes to deploy. Um, so what do I have here? Well, I now have a data center that is trusting my existing uh, gossip certificates in my existing uh, clusters data center, and it also knows about its seed nodes. Um, uh, but what why I don't have is that same trust on the other side. So I need to um, get these seed nodes, which are the seed nodes of my new data center, and put those uh, into my existing uh, cluster. So let me uh, just copy this. So this is uh, 8, 10, and 11. Let me go to my um, YAML file in my existing cluster. And I just need to add uh, those seed nodes um, in here. So let me just do that quickly. Okay, so that's done. And then uh, the only other thing I need to do, of course, is uh, upload um, the trust store um, that I updated uh, with uh, the certificates uh, of the new data center so that my existing uh, data center here can trust uh, the managed instance data center. So I would just need to upload this file. I won't make you watch me do that. I'm just going to do that. And then restart my cluster, my, my uh, the nodes in my uh, existing cluster, and then we'll see you back uh, to check on the node status. Okay, so I've done all of that now. I've um, applied uh, the seed nodes and I've updated the trust store of my existing uh, cluster data center. Um, so let's just check on the uh, the status of the overall cluster now. And as we can see, I now have two data centers. I've got my original data center and I've got the new data center that's being managed um, by Azure Managed Instance for Apache Cassandra. And if we just go to the resource group, um, and we're still in the uh, uh, VNet here that I um, uh, created earlier. So this is the cloud VNet. If I just refresh this, you can see that the NICs are visible uh, of the new uh, uh, nodes in the new data center. 
but if I go into the resource group, I can't see any of those resources. Of course, those are managed VMs. This is a managed service. Uh, you can access those private IPs inside the VNet. We inject the NICs into the VNet, uh, but the service itself is managed. You can read all about that in the documentation. But we provide you, as you've seen here, with the ability to connect up the new managed uh, Cassandra data center to your existing cluster so it's, it becomes an extension of your existing cluster and it uses the gossip protocol to replicate data back and forth between the nodes in those data centers. Uh, so as I said at the beginning, you can use this as a way of extending the capacity in existing data center or using it as a way of doing a seamless zero downtime, uh, a real time migration. The only thing I've left to do um, yes, uh, the, the data centers are up and running, but to actually um, enable replication, of course, I need to, uh, as the instructions tell me, I need to go and um, alter the key spaces uh, as, as relevant um, and the replication uh, strategy there uh, to reference uh, the additional data center or data centers uh, as you add them. Of course, it's up to you which key spaces you want to, to use replication and to move data between data centers, but that's what you uh, would need to do to just finish this off. Um, so that's it. That's how to configure a hybrid uh, Apache Cassandra cluster using Azure Managed Instance for Apache Cassandra. Thanks for watching.